Hello again, I'm Terrapin, and thanks for joining me in the next installment of the adventures of Terrapin the Hobbit Rogue. If you call, recall last time, we had just finished off a centaur that had been giving us trouble on Sokoban 4, um, and then started musing about the odd frequency with, the, with which giant beetles seem to drop corpses, which is entirely unrelated to anything, but that's where we were at. Um, so... Let us continue with that fight from there. Anyhow, so shouldn't be too difficult to kill as long as I can get past the cat. And indeed, there's a corpse. What did I tell ya? Yeah, whatever. Um, sure, why not? Okay. Um, might as well bring these in case they happen to be enchanted. And, okay. Um, how to get to the next boulder? Right, this one goes down. And across. So in terms of the zoo, I think I'm just going to dive right in and try to engage. Um, I'm a little squishy, but the horn really helps me out. Um, the uh, gray elf will resist, or it won't be able to be scared. But um, I think pretty much everything else in here will be. The stuff that I can't sense, I guess, is going to be mindless and also unscarable. But usually mindless things are pretty slow. Um, Sokoban is generally about the difficulty where you start seeing energy vortices. Those are mindless and definitively not slow. And just absolutely terrifying. Um, a little scarier for squishy spellcasters, but they're, they're pretty scary for anything, really. So... On the off chance I find one of those, I'm definitely running. Okay, and with that, we are finished with the puzzles. And on to the stabbing. Best part, hands down. Okay, since I'm a rogue and I have stealth, I was going to say they aren't awake, but it looks like at least one of them is. Um, I have lizard corpses. I'm going to put them in my bag until that imp is taken care of. Not tools. Um, comestibles. There we go. I only have ten weight. But I also have like just a bunch of random stuff I can drop if I need to. Eh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just drop these food rations here real quick. Because I don't need them. And nothing else can... Like, monsters can't make use of them against me, so... Um, yeah, I was trying to click capital L, not colon, but there's a handy feature if, you, uh, if you're if you in a, some sort of menu screen and you use colon, you can search for something and it'll select it. So, like, I can go digging. In, this, in the case of when you just open the inventory screen and select something, it, it brings you to object lookup. But you could also like put stuff in a bag with the search function, or take stuff out. One time I was polypiling, and I put an artifact longsword into a chest, and forgot that I'd done it. Um, and so for a second I thought I would polymorphed um, the sword, and I was really worried. Several slurping sounds. Okay, we got a gelatinous cube on our hands. Um, they have a paralysis attack. Oops. Um, I don't remember what they're like in vanilla, but I'm pretty sure they're different in evil hack. So they have a paralysis attack, but then they can also engulf you to drown you. So unless you have magical breathing, um, they're super dangerous because they can paralyze you for several turns, and they can drown you, and by the time you're able to move again, you're like one turn away from dying, or you're already dead. Um, 
yeah, plus passive paralyzed. So even if you wake up inside the cube, it's pretty difficult to get out because you can't just hit them um, and kill them that way. So we're going to want to stay at range for sure. Anyway, I, and I looked in the chest. I couldn't find the sword, and I was like, oh my gosh, where is it? But then when I used the search, it was there, and I just missed it before. So very memorable, memorable way to use the search function. Oh. I'm going to run away a little because the gnomish wizard can spell cast against me. And I'm already at kind of low health. I should really start using my daggers more. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to run away. Oh, and a fire sphere too. Gotta remember not to use my daggers on that. Oh, and an earth up. Just everything is so fun today. It was probably in the zoo and... No, it probably wasn't. I'm pretty sure Sokoban walls are unfeasible. Um, so it couldn't have gone through the wall from the zoo. Must have just generated randomly. Actually, elementals can generate, they're neutral, so they can generate peaceful to me. I should have checked. Luckily, I, it wasn't, or I would have gotten a message about feeling guilty. Okay. Now that I have a unicorn horn, I'd prefer to get up close to the wizard. Um, because then it won't fireball me, and I'm not too worried about it stunning me, because... I can cure that now. Uh, eh. Elves are scary. I'm gonna go downstairs. Oh, yikes. Okay. And I've always got my steel horn, I gotta remember that. My tooled horn. Which is less scary? I think probably the centaur. I'm going to let it get a bit closer and then see if I can tool horn it maybe. Daggers first. And then tool horn time. Okay, where am I? There we are. Ah, yes. And he didn't go through the door either. Perfect. Oh, that was a beautiful thing. Okay, um, somehow I still have not become satiated any, at any point, which is just incredible. Um, okay, I shudder to think about how much nutrition I'd burn if I was generating conflict or something. I tend not to use conflict. I, I actually have not, cannot think of a single game where I've, I've used it significantly. Um, an evil hack because it um, requires you to see it requires your it, it only works if the enemy can see you so you can't be invisible and they have to you have to pass uh, like a check so the sum of um, the sum of your charisma and level minus their monster level has to exceed a d20. And there's always a 5% chance that they'll just straight up resist anyway. So it's much less reliable and provides you to give up invisibility. So I've tended not to use it. Honestly, I'm, it's odd because like ranged characters probably benefit more from conflict because um, they're less likely to be next to monsters who are conflicted, and so it's more likely... Ugh. It's more likely that they won't be at... Um, Alright, I have a wisdom. I just don't have any daggers to do this from far away. This is bad. Thank you. 
Incubus. Oh, and they have massive magic resistance. Wow, that's super high. I could maybe try blinding it with my Wand of Light. I don't really have any other good options. The Horn probably won't work. What's their level? Base level 6. Yeah, it's close enough to 70% that I don't really care exactly. And all my armor is gone, because of course. You'll note I still have two points of AC. That's from my dexterity. You get some bonus, I can't remember what it is exactly, but apparently for 18 dex it's two points. Putting stuff on would take turns I don't have. I could cream pie. It's been a long time since I've done that. Okay, I'm under 1 6th HP, so I'm going to pray for health. There we go. Be gone, demon. Seriously, be gone, please. It's so close. Okay. Just need that one last hit. There we go. Anyway, I was saying something about something, but I've totally forgotten in that desperate attempt. Oh, conflict, right. But also range, so range characters probably benefit quite a bit from conflict, but they also benefit a lot from being invisible. I guess later in the game it's a little less likely that um, invisibility is helpful since a lot of... oh, okay, that was close. I forgot that I'd taken off, or the incubus had taken off my apron. Um, I wouldn't have been insta-killed since my poison resistance was pretty high, but I could have gotten strength trained or whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it would be a good idea for Rogue. Probably not a good idea for Hobbit regardless, since I just use so much nutrition. What are my skills at, anyway? Oh, I've not... That's silly. I didn't upgrade two up in combat. Huh. Okay, now I need to train up my short sword, if anything. Okay, there's a lot of stuff down here. This is worrying. Okay, slower than me and reasonably scarable. So I'm gonna go for the Okay, got scared. Is it it's still scared. I didn't see a backstab message for one of those hits. Huh. Still scared. Come on. insects. Luckily it didn't summon any locusts. Fire ant isn't great though. Oh, um, scare again. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, locusts are yet another member of team A and they can... they have a sickness attack. Multiple sickness attacks. Um, luckily they don't like make you super sick all at once. It's kind of like with, who is it, Dreeblex? Demogorgon? Maybe it's Demogorgon. Maybe it's both of them. Um, whenever a monster has multiple sickness attacks, if the first one hits, then the second one will stun you instead. Which is probably better than getting sickened multiple times at once. But then you have to deal with the stun too, which isn't great. Alright, finally poison resistant, totally. Oh, those aren't daggers. Um, I still don't have access to Elbereth. Eh. This 
going to lock the door so the soldier can't come back. Can't come back. Um, because I haven't seen it yet. So if I try to engrave it, my hand will slip or something, and I'll engrave something else instead. So tool horns plenty for the most part. But yeah, honestly, I, I almost never use Elberith because I don't find it terribly interesting. And I'm primarily in this to have fun. But with the whole backstab deal, it might honestly be pretty cool as a rogue to give it a try. Plus, I'm that much less likely to die, which is a definite, um, definite pro. Okay, so there's just like a ton of stuff outside, and a lot of it is scary. And I don't have any daggers, because they're all upstairs. So I'm going to go upstairs actually and fight the jackal. Where jackal, the elf, all that scary stuff, um, to try to get my daggers back, and then it'll be easier to gun down anything. Oh, did I already kill the jackal? That's useful. Okay, and this is getting pretty low actually. Oh, mm, taping wasn't that useful anyway. The acid resistance is nice, but it's not super relevant at this point in the game, I'd say. Um, if you get multiple elven short swords, you can forge them into an elven long sword, which is pretty nice. But normal elven wood, uh, short swords are made of wood, so you obviously can't forge wood. Come at me. Or don't recall. Gosh, I love Iron Hatred. Um, still don't have a good cloak, I don't think. But Hooded Cloak won't be better. I'm getting all the elves I need. That's nice. I mean, not all of them. You can never have enough elf corpses. But um, it's a little Dwarf Fortress crossover for all you fans. That just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, I was moving quickly, but I don't think I even had a turn to not let that happen. I have a wand of digging out, actually. Did I have that out the last time I was engulfed? If so, it was pretty silly that I didn't use it. Um, it only... Wand of digging only halves HP when you're engulfed now. Um, so Dweevlex is no longer a total pushover. But since you can get sickness resistance from a couple sources, he's not as scary as he could be. I wonder if Wand of Digging hurts Earth Elementals. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Not really willing to risk it. Um, okay. I'm just glad they're so slow. Although less slow than, I've, than you'd think, or than I've thought. Speed 6. Okay, that's pretty slow. It seems like Earth Elementals have gotten the drop on me a couple times now. There we go. Um, oh, and did I have some Elven boots now? I'll take those over the hard shoes, I think. Less AC, but lighter, which is nice. Giant turtle, kind of don't want to mess with. It has really high AC, and it's slow. Yeah, negative eight base, base AC, that's just ridiculous. And it's really slow, so I can kind of avoid it. But of course, I also don't want it to block my way later. Um, that said, I kind of got two ways to go around here. So as long as I keep an eye out for where the turtle is, Seeing if I can maybe block off this area so the turtle can't come down the hallway after me and just totally shut me out. And I've found yet another elf. 
They're just after me today. You'd think as a hobbit they'd be a little friendlier. But maybe that's only to Chaotix. Just to check that it's definitely angry. Yeah. You're an angry elf. Big fan of that movie. Oh, a Mithril Elven short sword. That's cool. Very slightly better than my uh, Steel Dwarvish short sword. And my cat has stepped on it, so it's fine. Even though it ate my, ate my uh, elf corpse angry mutters. Silver er elven arrows are a good find because you can make um, el silver elven daggers from them. Which are a bit better than normal elven daggers. I mean, they're a bit better than normal silver daggers. And, and normal elven daggers, of course. Because they're silver. <laughs> All this stuff isn't curse tested yet. Okay. Do I have multiple lockpicks? I do. I don't need two of them. And then I'm pretty sure that the cat already stepped on this, but I'm just gonna make sure that she's definitely okay with it. Still eating. I hope she at least got sleep resistance from that. Um to G, and then because now both of them are mithril and I don't have to worry about weight. I'm going to stick the mithril um, the mithril oh wait, which is I'm going to put the mithril broadsword in my main hand because it's a little bit of a better weapon so for some reason I'm switching between two weapon and not two weapon yeah um, cool unfortunately there's no dwarvish longsword so you can't forge two Rod short swords together to make anything useful. That would be pretty great. I mean, for me personally, in the moment, and in general, I suppose. Um, with all the uh, elves I'm fighting, I'm kind of feeling the lack of iron weapons, honestly. Like, I've got the daggers, but no up close iron weapons, which. Is not something I normally say, because iron isn't usually what you want, but in this very particular instance, I kind of wish I had more of them. Where'd that giant turtle get up to? Okay. That's not great. It's going to take forever to bait it down again, and it can't get through all these diagonals either. Actually, that's great. I can just run away whenever I want. I'm going to go primary so that I actually have a chance of hitting it. I learned the other day, so I've known for a while that throwable weapons have a plus two accuracy bonus when they're thrown, but I literally just learned the other day that throwing inherently, it like naturally has a minus two accuracy compared to melee attacks, so it actually totals can't, totally cancels out, which is, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but I did not know that. wizard on our hands. Just lovely. Um, so I'm going to see, I'm going to try to take care of that real quick. Oh, it's peaceful. Okay, I'll take that. And this turtle's gone off somewhere. So I'm just going to go like this so the, the turtle decides to come after me again. I'll have some avenue of escape somewhere. Is this an owl bear? Oh, it's an ape and peaceful to boot. Okay. All those are really scary with their crushing attacks. And a hobbit, chaotic, but a hobbit, so we're best bros. We argue at Thanksgiving, of course, but who doesn't? Gargoyle riding a Roth is probably less scary than just a gargoyle. I think it'll be slower. Speed 9. Speed 10. Just a little slower. I'm trying to debate trying whether I should draw it further up, but then I'd have to deal with the hobbit being in the way and all that. I'll just start firing. Mm. Oof. I'll 
Hold me back, hold me back. Oh. This roof keeps on getting attacks when he moves. Maybe there's some weird interaction between writers and righties that I'm not aware of. And of course once... Oh, oh wow. I don't think I can pray yet. And even if I scare them, they can't move, so they'll probably just keep attacking me. Okay, that was that was really lucky that I was able to displace. Not a guarantee. Um, bring my pet in here in case she's a help. Probably won't be, but you never know. What is my dagger situation? I got seven. I think I'm gonna. If I can do it without getting too close, I'm going to try to get it, kill the gargoyle. Oh, and there's a road coming after me, too. Meanwhile, my kitten's picking fights with random other... Okay, don't eat the hobbit, don't eat the hobbit. That would be cannibalism, that would be cannibalism. I've debated turning on the, like, use monster symbol, I forget what it's called, but whatever the setting is that makes you, your character use the letter of your race instead of just an at sign. And I've never done it because I feel like I would be confused if it wasn't, if I wasn't an at sign, but I also commit cannibalism a lot, so you decide. <laughs> now I've we've got a, this is a null hunter, right? They're pretty bad. Um, they always get a bunch of arrows and stuff. They're like mortar orcs for the mid game. Yeah. Hmm. Where's the giant turtle at? Oh, it's far away. I can just run. I'm totally doing that. are gone. Sad day. Drop some random stuff that I don't need. Add a lot of food rations. And I'm hungry again. Yes, I'll eat one. Okay. Yet another food ration. Where's the turtle at? Oh, and the gargoyles escaped. Honestly, maybe that's helpful. I'll have a bit more room to run around. Oh. Man, they're just speedy, speedy animals. Not what you expect. So that, that was the null hunter saying hello with his arrows. Probably the gargoyle's close to regenerate already. Oh, but I can scare him now that now that I've got a bit more room. There we go. That's more like it. Tooled horn MVP yet again. Which there are. Oh, they've got nothing either. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for him to come next to me. If he does. Oh, he's just left again. Okay. <laughs> you do you, bro. I'm not in a hurry. Death waits for everyone. Of course it did. I mean, it already had one, but now it maybe has a better one. I probably shouldn't have given it time to equip itself. Of course, once it's scared, what can it do? My wisdom is totally going to tank. I'll probably flee downstairs, but the door's locked down there. Or not. Hmm. I don't know if it's smart enough to.
Um, normal elven arrows are wood, so you can't use them for any forging shenanigans. Um, that's all I really need, I think. Cools. Uh, okay. Keep going through there, keep forgetting that. What am I looking at? Okay. I'm gonna take on the road and Roth Road Rothy. See if I can't collect some of my daggers back. Scorpion's not too bad, because especially since I'm quite interested now. Well, I was with my smock anyway, but doubly not bad. Scorpion's kind of just a scary-ish monster from its physical damage alone, but not too bad. Uh, don't need more pets. Not accepting applications at this time. You may have noticed from my constant use of stupid quips and references that I'm a little tired. I'd say that I get funnier as, or funnier as I get tired, but I'm pretty sure I just think I get funnier as I get tired. Um, well, Troll's super not great. I think it has some MR too. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. I was going to say they're not great, but at least I can eat them. But also, it seems that it'll be pretty easy to kill. So, cool. Boom, done. Got most of my daggers back too, plus a whole bunch of resistance. Um, you're always guaranteed all the resistances that a corpse can give. Um, so that's, that's nice. Plus flesh golems are pretty heavy, so you get a bit more than the minimum. I don't really want to let this dude clump. Oh, frick. I'm sure the gelatinous cube ate all my daggers. I should have remembered that, but honestly, I don't know what else I could have done. I think the other one's a loss. Yeah, I'm not going near near that thing. Ah, oh, that's a real bummer. Hopefully with like my better two weapon skill and all that, I won't need to rely on daggers quite as much. But man. How which health does a gelatinous cube have anyway? I mean, this isn't going to tell me. Base level 6. So it's probably like 60, 10. It could have a lot of health. I don't want to, like, throw good money after bad and, you know, I wouldn't lose the metal daggers permanently, but I might lose access to them for a while. Because I just, I straight up can't go into hand-to-hand -hand combat with it because I'd die. Pretty much 100% chance. And I don't have any ranged recourse other than my daggers. So... I think I just gotta run. Yep, and there goes the last of my elven daggers. That was a real bummer. Um, actually, while I'm at it, I forgot to do this before. These are plus zero. Might as well name them so I don't forget. Totally random, but it just occurred to me. So yeah, it looks like Sokoban's not happening yet. Um, we could like try to get, actually I'm going to shut off. We could try to get cute and like lead the gelatinous cube on some sort of loop around here. But with all these diagonals that I can't pass through, there's actually much less maneuvering room than you'd think. And I don't, I'm not confident enough that I would be able to remember where things can go and can't go. Are gelatinous cubes large? 
Yes, they are. Okay, it can't get through the diagonal here then. So we're fine. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave. I think I might go to my Zen now. Oh, and the tor turtle's here. I think I can take it one-on-one. -on -one. Actually. Um, it basically has no magic resistance either. Oh, but it's scared anyway. That's nice. At least a little bit. I don't know why. It's odd to me that I keep on striking the turtle and not striking it from behind. Like that. It's still scared. I don't know, quite know why that happens. I should probably read up on backstab a bit more. Ooh, another longsword. That brings me up to two. I might switch to them now, because I'm skilled two weapon, so... Um, anything useful here? Nope. Food, always useful. Spear, not useful. Steel arrow. No, I got hit with some before. They weren't magical. Oh, being burdened next to a soldier ant, definitely not useful. Goodbye. Um... At least I don't have to worry about the 60 AUM of weight, that, or not 60, 40 AUM of weight from my elven daggers being gone. Not that I'm bitter or anything. Don't die yet. The poison, I need you to curse test my stuff. Super important, important job. Actually, it looks like it might be cursed. Well, I'm well equipped to fight these orcs with my dual mithril weapons. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this longsword's cursed. Oh well. I only really need one to train the skill. I think it's down at the Soko Pawn upstairs. Sorry. Uh, yeah, cursed. Just waiting for the cat to get out of the way. I can kick it away. Place all this random crap in my bag so I'm not encumbered anymore. Could have done that before the soldier ant, but I was kind of just like freaking out and trying to make sure I wasn't burdened real quick. Because they're scary. Uh, okay. Nymph also quite scary. Less so in a no teleport level, but. And I don't really have anything that would make it super bad. Um, yellow might be nymph, so yellow and one. One found on a nymph. Um, I have a tin kit actually, so I'm going to tin the nymph corpse. Um, it's obviously pretty rare, but sometimes you get teleport control before teleportitis. And then it's a real bad feeling when you can't find any teleportitis granting corpses. because. <laughs> You thought the hardest part was over, and then it's not. I can take this dude. Can I take both of these dudes? Oh, I, I cannot take these dudes. <laughs> Whoa. I've forgotten about the menagerie. It's like zoo part two. Yeah, we're just, we're just leaving. Man. That was, that was... It was a pretty bad Sokoban. I'm sure there have been worse ones where I've just died before I could really appreciate the magnitude of the badness. But it, if, yeah, that was a lot. I want to take out a lizard corpse or two. I'm pretty much going to be burdened anyway, no matter what. So I might as well have some nice stuff out. Nothing useful there. Yeah, a long worm. I just will drop this to not be encumbered while I fight it. Actually, since this isn't a super important fight, I'm going to train up my short sword. I'm not certain I'll go to expert in it. I think likely I'll end up just using long swords anyway. 
Um, so I've killed a bunch of enemies with my mythful broad short sword, and it has decided to identify its enchantment to me. So that's nice. Um, yeah, that's cool. Long worm corpse. Of course, I can eat the whole thing. I'm real glutton. And then if I remember correctly, there are zombies hiding in here. Hmm. I'm going to drop my bag so I'm not encumbered when I'm facing them. And then there's nothing living over there, so I'm just going to kind of fire blindly. Yep, and there's a corpse there. Chuck and there wasn't anything under there because I didn't have the chance before. There's some boulders on Sepagon 3 that I didn't, forgot to check too, but I'm not going back there. No way. Um, and I'm probably just going to leave a bunch of stuff right over here. Yep, there goes my wisdom. Uh, I was really kind of counting on getting the Elbereth from Sepagon so that I could both use it instead of this tool horn and also it exercises wisdom. So it would counteract my tool horn use. But then again, it's not like I need wisdom for anything. So Unless it gets like super low. I'm not really worried. Um, yeah. I'm going to give it a pause here, I think. 